innovation really comes from anywhere. Um, and the inspiration actually uh, for this came from John Caritas, uh, uh, his daughter who was three years old and was playing with wooden blocks um, uh, and how to make it work. And that's how he got inspired by, okay, how do I bring a full-size keyboard in this 10.4-inch uh, 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 panel? It's one of the uh, few products uh, that are in the Museum of Modern Art, right, in New York and obviously represents a whole, it was a big shift in the whole process of uh, design for mobile computing. Now, uh, interestingly, you know, this project was codenamed Butterfly. When John Caritas and the team uh, designed it, they almost uh, thought of it as, as uh, wings of an airplane, uh, like the Top Gun movie, right? It was one of those few laptops that was, uh, again, it was not uh, designed or initially engineered in our famous Yamada lab, but it was a combination of our Raleigh manufacturing uh, facility uh, and the team working clo very closely with Yamato. Uh, the team, uh, the concept uh, was uh, came out in 1993, right when the 701 just just came out. The 701 uh, really was the one, the first one which was launched in 1992, which really uh, transformed the PC industry. Now the keyboard concept, uh, the reason the butterfly came out was. Uh, these business laptops were obviously very popular with business folks and they wanted uh, the biggest complaint that we got from customers was uh, the competing laptops were too small. Everybody wanted a small package, the lightest possible uh, notebook that was available in the marketplace. But at that time, the keyboard was. So uh, the only screen available at that time was roughly, I think, a 10.4 inch uh, screen that was available. And how do you come out with a full-size keyboard. Uh, so that was really, uh, you know, uh, the inspiration behind uh, the, the problem statement was, how do we generate a full-size keyboard in a sub notebook form factor, which was the 700 uh, series at that time. So the design started in 1993 and the product came out in early 1995. The 701, coming back to the uh, 701C, uh, I mean, it, back in its time, and this is mid 90s, right? It appeared in a number of major movies, including James Bond uh, film, The Golden Eye, Mission Impossible. Uh, I know it received uh, 27 different design awards. Uh, it was one of the best selling laptops in 1995. Uh, again, through its, again, you know, obviously the pricing uh, changed anywhere from 1500 to uh, 3300, depending on the configuration. but. Uh, you know, some of the other fun facts were also where, where uh, when we launched the product first, uh, there were other uh, debates within IBM at that point. Should we call this the IBM ThinkPad Butterfly? There was a lot of back and forth uh, at that time. Eventually, we didn't want to come out with a new brand name. And the marketing team did a fantastic job uh, around 1995 when they would place these little ads uh, in newspapers and with just a picture of a butterfly, right? And then slowly says, hey, IBM, uh, watch for the space, IBM's about to release a new product. So there was a lot of excitement, buzz, right, that, you know, uh, that the industry hadn't seen back in 1995, uh, that, you know, uh, b back then when we first launched uh, this new product. Yeah, I mean, again, it's that focus on the customer, right? We were trying to go create uh, constantly, this delight factor where uh, it's it's uh, it's a it's a it's a business system. It's designed for business customers to make them productive uh, at, at all uh, times. So the focus on the display, the focus on the keyboard, the focus on the quality and the ruggedness that has not changed, right? So if you look at the 701C, the keyboard's absolutely delight to type to. Now I can tell you, you use that on the Nano or X1 Carbon any of those products, it is the hands down the best keyboard experience uh, you'll see in any product uh, out of the marketplace. In fact, it, the, the, there's uh, such a strong demand that Masasan is holding up our keyboard accessory, uh, right? Um, you know, we've created a separate uh, keyboard accessory uh, with the ThinkPad uh, keyboard. You know, an interesting story, 
uh, on the 701C. Uh, obviously, John Caritas uh, designed it, but you know, as you can as you can tell, innovation really comes from anywhere, um, and the inspiration actually uh, for this came from John Caritas, uh, uh, his daughter who was three years old and was playing with wooden blocks. Um, uh, and how to make it work. And that's how he got inspired by, okay, how do I bring a full-size keyboard in this 10.4-inch uh, 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 panel? Um, so he basically, you know, started cutting the, you know, making copies of the keyboard. And I think it was cutting it across the number four, number T, H, and the M keys, right? And it's basically into a triangle. And that was really the inspiration uh, for him uh, and how he came up with the butterfly keyboard. Him and obviously a team of, like I said, Sam Lucente, Robert Tenen, under the supervision of uh, Richard Sapper. And again, if you look at this product, it's it was a global team that designed this product. Obviously, we had our Yamato lab. Uh, we had our designers in Research Triangle Park in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, Richard Sapper himself is a German. who was based in Milan. Uh, so it was really a team effort across a number of IBM factories around the world. Uh, so truly a global product development, uh, even back in its day. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, if you think about why the butterfly was created, it was there to solve a problem, right? I've got this 10.4 inch uh, uh, panel and uh, the keyboard was a cramped keyboard and everybody complained. The number one complaint from our customers back then was the cramped keyboard. And what the 701C did was really solve that customer problem. Again, uh, it's rooted in solving customer issues, right? So it clearly solved the problem. But, uh, and right now, if you look at, four, uh, you know, in 1995, it was a four by three panel. Uh, today, 16 by nine, 16 by 10 are very popular. Uh, with our customers and you can put a full-size keyboard without any compromise on these displays nobody wants a 10.4 inch uh notebook right um in, in general the sweet spot for notebooks is really 15 inches uh 15 inches 14 inches 13 inches those are the sp sweet spots maybe the 12 and a half inch uh, but in general the number one seller for notebooks uh, is the 15 inch display is the number one seller uh, overall It is, I mean, obviously it's in a museum. Uh, I know uh, some of our, uh, our, our our industrial designers uh, have some of these products, um, but again, it's very, very popular uh, and it's still talked about when, you, when we talk about top 10 uh, ThinkPads, this definitely shows up as the number one or probably in the top two or three uh, as one of the most popular uh, products ever. It is, I mean, obviously it's in a museum. Uh, I know uh, some of our, uh, our, our, our industrial designers uh, have some of these products, um, but again, it's very, very popular uh, and it's still talked about. When, you, when we talk about top 10 uh, ThinkPads, this definitely shows up as the number one or probably in the top two or three uh, as one of the most popular uh, products ever.